Today's book is Bedtime for Monsters. Do you ever wonder if somewhere not too far away there might be monsters? Because supposing there are monsters, do you think that this monster might be licking his lips and thinking about you? And if this monster is thinking about you, maybe he's thinking about you in a eating you up kind of way. I hope not because he's coming to find you right now. And as he bicycles bumpingly through a dark and terrible forest, bump, bumpity bump, do you think he's smiling because he remembered to pack his knife and fork? And as he crosses the gloopy, sloopy swamp, gloop, gloop, sloop, do you think he's imagining just how good you'll taste all covered in ketchup? And as he tiptoes through thorns and thistles, scritch, scratch, ouch, do you think he'll decide they'll taste even more delicious, squished, and then squashed onto hot buttered toast? And at this very moment, as he climbs up the cold and snowy mountains, getting closer and closer to you, don't you think he'll be feeling very hungry indeed? You're not scared, are you? Because if he is feeling very hungry indeed while he searches high and low and up and down and in and out and all over town maybe you'll hear his big empty tummy rumbling and grumbling and if you do hear rumbling and grumbling might you also hear a creak 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 as he starts to climb the stairs creak crickety creak And as he opens your bedroom door, do you think he's licking his lips because he wants to gobble you up? Oh no, it's much worse than that. This monster wants a disgustingly sloppy goodnight kiss. Kissy, kissy. Because it's bedtime for monsters everywhere. Big ones like him and little ones just like you. Did you really think he'd eat you up? How silly. Although you could leave out a little bedtime snack just in case. <laughs>